Well, hello to these Saints, Kenzie Retro here, and welcome to my first review of 2019. And it is a. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Dumbo that got released just last week. And my goodness me, it is very interesting to see how this was made as a very different take on the original that was released in 1941. I'll do a separate series on on this film called The Adaptation Variation where I go through the different um where I go through the changes the live action adaptation made compared to what happened with the original. So anyway, let's not waste any more time and let's get into this. I will be keeping this spoiler free for the sake of those who have not seen the film yet. So here we go. This is it. We um four main cast members. We've got Colin Farrell, Michael Keaton, Danny DeVito and Eva Green. And it was directed by, of course, Tim Burton, which normally means the music is done by Danny Elfman. And, oh boy, this is a very big departure from the original that was released almost years ago. My goodness me, 80 years since Dumbo was released. Right, so... So we start off with... Colin Farrell, we start off with Colin Farrell coming back from World War I and he has had his arm amputated because of the war. He plays Holt Farrell, has been widowed after his wife passed away so he's now having to uh, widow word because um, because the female variation of that is a widow, and the male variation of that is the widower. Uh, widowhood. Um, and he's got Millie and Joe, his kids, to look after. And they've pretty much got an entire tent to themselves to pretty much do their daily living while running a circus at the same time. DeVito, who is wildly over the top, as Max Medici, who is a who is the ringmaster of the circus, and interestingly enough, he is loosely based on the ringmaster from the previous film. And oh boy, talking of ringmasters, I'll get an exciting cameo later on in the review. You've got Colette. Marcia Marshall, played by Eva Green, who is who was in Casino Royale with Daniel Craig. And she is a trapeze artist who performs at the Dreamland uh, who performs at the Dreamland Amusement Park, who is which is run by Michael Keaton, who plays VA Vanderveer. turn up until just after essentially what until after we uh, the crowd at Medici circus fly we I mean we all know how the original goes if you we all know how the original goes Dumbo gets ridiculed for his ridiculous ears and Max Medici actually wants halt to get rid of it because they think it's a monster. I mean, really? It's 2019 and you st and you actually have the the nerve to go and also what I'm looking for. You have the nerve to go and make a live action live action adaptation of a film that would be relevant today because there are so many people discriminating those just discriminating outsiders just because they look different. 
It's 2019, people. We shouldn't be going through this. I mean, fair enough, you needed to do it for the lot for sticking sticking true to the source material. But even at that, still, come on, it's 2019. You had the nerve to call it a monster and a freak? Seriously? That's one of my that's one of my me this film. It's well, especially during the first act. The fact that the social commentary is just way too on the nose. Especially in today's especially in this day and age. I mean, seriously? But Credit where it's due, they all played their parts really well. Really well. I'll give them that. Apart from the actress that plays Millie, Nico Parker, to be exact. Her facial expressions for me, it feels like she's just a one-dimensional character. She, she only has one expression on her face for a majority of the film, and that's it. Now you guys might think differently from uh, uh, from me about uh, Millie, but but that's that's just that's just me. It's her facial expressions just make her feel like a one-dimensional character. And I'm sorry, but if you're gonna have that one-dimensional face, feel just. It just doesn't But after the first act, we get introduced to Vanderveer and Colette, who want the who want Dumbo and Medici's circus troupe to perform at Dreamland. And initially, I thought, I'm not kidding, guys. Initially, I thought Vanderveer was going to be, it was going to be Vanderveer and Colette. It was Johnny Depp and Helen and Bonham Carter. Because with it being a turn Burton project, you'd assume you would have either Johnny Depp or Helen and Bonham Carter in this, in this film. And neither of them were anywhere to be seen, which is very interesting. For me, the music in the film felt, felt, for, for a majority of the film, it felt too innocent. I mean, you normally expect it to be really unusual, as with most Tim Burton films, but again, it just felt too... It just felt too innocent. The music felt too innocent for me. And how often do you hear me criticizing a film soundtrack? Film soundtrack. How often does that happen? But all that, all that aside, all that aside, visually, all that aside, visually, it looks fantastic. The bright, the bright colors, and the bright colors like the the designs of some of the the, the designs of some of the characters. Yes, even yes, even the CG for things like Dumbo. Even things like that. I gave credit for that. But what I will say, oh, but what I will say regarding the music, especially, um, we all know how disturbing the pink elephants on parade scene in the original was. My word, this was disturbing 
tenfold. The music was so unsettling, and I just thought, no, this is, no, 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 take this. But, hey ho, much more disturbing than the original. But I'll get into that when I do the adaptation variation. Oh my goodness me. Um, but baby mind though, oh my word. It didn't take long, it didn't take long for those tears to start flowing. But hey ho, that was But, I mean... I mean, how can I, how can I go through Baby Mind without getting emotional? The fact that it was done simply on a ukulele? That just... So, so what else can I talk about? I've talked about the cast, I've talked about the story, visuals, soundtrack. So, yeah, there we go. Uh, right, so. So let's see, what am I going to rank the four topics? What am I going to rank them? Um, story, I'm going to have to give a six just because of how... Just because of it being too on the nose with social commentary. Um, the cast, they, they played their parts really well. I'll give that an eight. Visuals. Uh, the soundtrack, again, I'm going to have to put that down to a six because, again, like I say, the soundtrack just felt too innocent. For me, I mean, it's a Tim Burton film. You're supposed to have it being weird and wacky. The only thing that stops it dropping any lower is because of how disturbing Pink Elephants on Parade was. That was, that's, see, Pink Elephants on, the way they did Pink Elephants on Parade, that's how I wanted the score to be done. So, overall, so overall, with all the scores taken into account, the film gets a rating of 72.5%. I'm going to round that up to 73 because I like I like nice whole numbers. But there we go, 73%. Um, it, I mean, the only thing, the only really positive thing of the film and the cast. The story didn't work for me because it was too on the nose with social commentary Especially in this day and age, that is the sort of thing you want to be avoiding, and not as it. And for me, it just made me feel more uncomfortable because I've been an outcast as well. And the music, again, like I say, too innocent for me. Apart from Pink Elephants on Parade, that's the only part I can praise as far as the soundtrack is concerned. That's the style of music I want in a Tim Burton film. But anyway, that's my review out of the way now. Um, doing the adaptation variation. Until then, hope you enjoyed what you uh, saw today. Uh, let me know your thoughts on Dumbo in the comments below and whether you think the original was better than the adaptation or whether you think the other way around. It'll be very interesting to see if people think the adaptation was better. But anyway, the as usual, my, my previous video on the left and my soon to be what well, my reviews playlist will be on the right. I've got a couple of reviews in there already, uh, but I'll need to make uh, a fresh 
playlist. Uh, I'll need to make a fresh playlist for my 2019 reviews. Uh, but until then, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out and stay faithful as always.